Hello! Thank you for joining us for our first video of Engineering at Home, an online series put out by Spark Central in Spokane, Washington. This series will cover easy-to-do engineering projects that kids can recreate at home with common materials found around the house. Our first engineering experiment is going to be the Paper Column Strength Test, where we'll be folding paper into three different shapes, then we'll be putting the strength of those shapes to the test by standing them up and seeing how many books each shape can hold before it falls over. Our first step is to gather the materials we'll need. Here are the materials you'll need. Tape, a pen or pencil, a ruler, three pieces of copy or construction paper, and a nice stack of books we can conduct our experiment with, but you shouldn't need more than 10. For the next step, we'll be folding the paper into the shapes we want our columns to be and taping them together. The shapes we'll be making are a circle, a square, and a triangle. The first shape we'll fold our paper into is the easiest, a circle. To make a circle, we'll gently bend the paper without folding it. You can line up the paper along the edges to make sure it's straight and then tape it into place. I also like to add a piece of tape on the inside just to make sure that it stays um, nice and straight. The second shape we'll be making is the square. The first thing we'll do is fold our paper in half. Next, we'll fold down small flaps at both ends of our paper. These should be roughly the same size, about half an inch. Then we'll fold each of the ends with these flaps in toward the middle so that they meet. Once you have made creases along these lines, you'll see that your paper now has four sides of the same length, like a square. Now you can overlap the flaps you made, and these will match up along the corner of your square. Line up the edges and tape them into place. The third shape we'll fold our paper into is a triangle. This shape is the toughest and will require a little bit of math to make sure the sides end up being of equal length, but I also think it's the funnest to make. The first step will be to fold down both ends of the paper to make flaps like we did before. They should each be one inch. Use your ruler to check and refold your flap if needed. Next, take your ruler and measure the remaining length of your paper with the flaps down. If you're using a standard size piece of paper, the length should be 9 inches. If your length is a little longer, fold down your flaps more until the length of the remaining paper is 9 inches in length. After finding the length of our paper with the flaps folded down, we'll need to do a little math to find the length that each of the three sides of the triangle should be if the whole of them added together is 9 inches. 9 divided by 3 is 3, so each side should be 3 inches. Now that we know our sides should each be 3 inches, we can place our ruler along the bottom edge of the paper and use your pencil or pen to draw a small line under the 3 inch mark, and without moving your ruler make another small line under where the 6 inch mark is. To finish folding our triangle, we'll fold one side in and line it up with the mark we've made that is farthest away from it. Then, we'll fold the other end of the paper, again making sure to line it up with the mark that is farthest away from it. Now we should have the three equal sides of our triangle. Overlap the flaps like we did with the square and tape them in place. Do you know what columns are and why they're used in buildings? Columns are upright pillars usually used to support the ceiling or arches of a building. 
And now for the grand finale, we will test our paper columns. First up is our square column. This one was able to balance two books and fell over when a third was put on top of it. Next up is our triangle column. This one was able to balance two books, but also fell over when a third book was put on top of it. And finally, we have our circular column. This one was able to hold six books before it fell over when the seventh one was put up. That's over twice as strong as the other two columns were. Our circular paper column was much stronger than the square and triangle. Why? Because circles are round without more than one side, weight is balanced evenly around its edges. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Engineering at Home. We hope you'll give this activity a try at home and mix it up by trying new shapes and different kinds of paper. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.